Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we got a really special one. This item here is is really is a holy grail as far as like 118 scale collecting goes. You know, it's not an easy item to come by for many reasons. Rarity being one, second, just the value that it has increased to. But without further ado, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and take a look at this super rare item, which is the Auto Art Mercedes 600 Pullman. So we take a look at the box. Now, this one here is the dealer edition. It was only available for sale when released in the Daimler Chrysler AG Mercedes Museum in Germany. And then after that, you know, it almost like it increased and increased in value. As soon as we get the item out of the box, we have this foam enclosure and without further ado, we'll go ahead and unveil this one and as you guys can see it, here it is, it's pretty awesome. But we're gonna get it moving super fast on this one we're not gonna waste no time so we're going straight to the interior which is one of the best parts about this vehicle although it's a lot going on to it and you guys will see why at the length for the video you know so much to cover on this one but um as far as the interior you got this superb look at the quality on that steering wheel the carpet too i mean it's just very very nice carpet it's not the type that you touch it and nice in your fingers nah it, it, it's just very well done a lot of different little parts for everything and just everything painted individually on every little button on the door and love the way the wood on the car looks and even the chrome accents now some of that stuff there is painted in silver like for example by that armrest but regardless of that i gotta love the realism of the leather seats on this obviously it's not leather it's obviously plastic but got your uh, traditional seat belts windows are done very nice too and I really like the trimming the chrome trimming on the windows also you know it's not painted like some other cars okay guys so now we're gonna take a look at the other side of the car and once again you know just to give you guys this angle you guys superb quality on the seats Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try to park this car in between these two, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull the Sunstar 600 out, you know, so... quite amazing that's one that's why this item really went rare and went up in value as it did unexpectedly on all collectors because this thing is it, it's you know it's such a masterpiece model it really is and, and it's crazy how it just increased in value has retained its value it seems like it's keeps going up in value Super awesome, these headlights. I mean, no shade to the Sunstar, but the Sunstar version, you know, has the headlights, has some holes in the front headlights that I just don't like, you know, don't look that real at all. And that's one of the pluses of the Auto R versions. 
of this 600 pool man it's just those headlights that just you know rolling the car it's just really really nice and sturdy the car is really really heavy so it's not like you're gonna roll it and it might just roll uh, behind you gotta love that center logo right there and just you, you guys notice the whole mesh of the grill the intricacy of the detail there like it just is superbly done I mean that's definitely perforated meshes on there on that grill we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the motor now we're gonna see what's under the hood and I gotta tell you guys the motor in this one is probably one of Auto Art's best now when this came out Auto Art wasn't going all out on motors like they do now but you know this is something else right here like everything from the whole engine block to the you know to, to the ball wires you got the the radiator fan right there you know just the hoses I mean just look at all, all this you got that battery right there on the left side full hinges I mean they just look so true to life amazing type of detail they went ahead and did on this one it just seems like a lot of individual parts went into this motor guys it's even the little window washer fluid tank right there on the top right just a really really awesome motor There's two versions of these, you know, one of the versions is, um, you know, you got the dealer edition, which is this one, and then you got the other version. Now, one of the ways that you can tell them apart instantly is pretty much that license plate. very very long model I mean pretty much the same length as their new 2019 Maybach that they got there you know the white one that you guys see on the back this, but the difference is that one is composite this one here is die cast metal which is the reason why of the weight all right guys as far as the steering the steering is not the best I would say in in a way it's really awesome but in a way it kind of works against its functionality now why do I say that it's because it's designed so realistic and you guys will notice when I show the bottom of the car but basically like it steers more to the to the right than it does to the left you know and and that's due to the fact that it's using super true to life almost replications of each and every part of assembly needed to do the whole steering on the car in real life which is great design wise and quality wise but yeah it, as an after effect the car doesn't steer as great as one might expect you know and also the steering wheel yes it does turn the wheels left and right but not always and it's almost like it's a very interesting one as far as the steering not the usual that you'd expect all right guys as we take a look at the back the lights detail look really amazing also you know you got photo edge uh 3d 600 and also the mercedes emblem but it seems like they're basically behind the clear coat of the paint almost like it's almost like they're there but depending on how you photograph it the light might not even catch it you know it's hard to explain maybe they are not behind the clear coat maybe it's just me but they're i will tell you this they're very thin Yeah guys, you also got this lid 
that pretty much like opens and it reveals a spare tire you guys see it right there Now the dealer edition does not bring luggage but the non-dealer edition strangely enough does bring it which is pretty crazy. This dealer edition guys like I said only was released on the Daimler Chrysler AG Museum and so it's actually more limited edition than the non-limited edition one and then that one brings a certificate of uh, you know of authenticity but you know they made so many of those. You know, so in reality, this one does not bring out the certificate of authenticity, but it's actually more limited production than that one, which is also very peculiar as well. All right, guys, so now we're going to get to one of the last things of the video, and, and, and that's going to be the bottom of the car. If you guys take a look, the bottom of the car is pretty fairly detailed, but now the actual part of the motor, that kind of level of detail is insane. And this is the explanation as to the why the steering only steer mostly to the left and not to the right. And it's simply because the way the steering is designed, you got these little pieces in a kind of way where like one is attached to the other, the other one's attached to the other. And it's almost like all these things together plus that attached to the steering wheel is what makes the steering turn to the left or right. And you know it's designed very very um very accurately but at the same time at the cost of the car mostly steering mainly to the right and only a tiny bit to the left this is truly a masterpiece of a model like i said i got mines at a pretty unpassable deal and even when i got it i it did take me actually selling a few of the models I already had on my collection in order to be able to even get it because I wound up selling basically about three or four models and then I was able to get it you know so it took me a little bit of collector goal setting you could say We're gonna go ahead and compare it, you know, from the top, you know, with all these other limos there, all these other 600 Mercedes limos. You know, you got the Sunstar and you got the Auto R, which is the white one. So, and yeah, guys, you guys pretty much can see that they're all pretty much more or less on the same size. All right, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do make sure to slap a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn notifications on so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Hope everyone's having an awesome day out there. And with that one, I'm out, you guys. Peace.